Well, howdy there, ma'am. You know, some gals might consider a guy like me to be a real catch. <laughs> now that you mention it, you do look a bit like a rainbow trout. Uh, gee, I... <clears throat> well, I'm happier than a rattlesnake in a prairie dog town to see you back here at the ranch, Johnny boy. Ooh, Cactus Jake. I'm hungrier than a rattlesnake in a prairie dog town. Whatever that means. <laughs> Well, it's my old pal Garfunkel. You gotta watch out for them cactuses. I didn't get acupuncture. Cactus Jake? How did you get the name Cactus Jake? Well, funny you should ask that, Johnny. Old Gargamel here just reminded me of how come my family carries a nickname of Cactus. Uh-oh. I feel a flashback coming on, folks. Let me tell you the story. This would be a good time to go to the kitchen for more cornflakes. <laughs> You see, it all started with my grandpappy, Cactus Jack. Only he was just plain old Jack then. You've heard of the James Gang, the Wild Bunch, you know, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and places along the outlaw trail like Hole in the Wall and Robber's Roost. Well, Grandpa Jack was a sheriff of a little town near that old outlaw trail. And his deputy was a feline drifter known only as the Lasagna Kid. His job was to keep the peace in the territory's varmint population. Easy, boy. Just my luck to have the only horse in the West that's allergic to cats. Nobody knew where the kid come from, but everybody that knew him knew to stay clear of him. Hey, who let that cat in here? As for those that didn't, they learned a hard lesson real fast. Make your play, stranger. Fastest flatware in the West. That was a lasagna kid, yes sirree. I didn't mean nothing, honest. I, I apologize, Mr. Deputy, sir. The kid was touchy, all right. There was only one woman who knew the way to his heart. Howdy, Deputy. Howdy, Miss Kitty. Mighty fancy eating there, kid. Must be tough being the fastest eater in the West. Well, you know how it is. There's always some young punk fork slinger waiting to challenge you. Well, how about showing me some more of that spoon play? If and you like, ma'am. It must be love. Then came that fateful day when the three orneriest crooks in the county come to town. The Lefkowitz brothers. What in the name of Gene Autry is going on? Jerry, the Short Branch Cafe's just been held up and they've gone and took Miss Kitty, too. Grandpa Jack and the kid spoke nary a word to each other about it. Okay, who's the wise guy who moved my horse? They headed out of town after the outlaws. <laughs> Their destination? The famed varmint infested and pretty near impregnable outlaw hideout known as Robber's Roost. It was possible to lose yourself for months in that there maze of ridge routes. <laughs> Luckily, the Lasagna Kid's horse could smell the cat hair from Miss Kitty to point the way. It was tough going. One false step and, well, I don't have to tell you. You boys give yourself up in the name of the law. It looked like Grandpa Jack had bitten off a mite more than he could chew. That's when old Lady Luck intervened. <laughs> <laughs> 
You rescued me, kid. How can I show my appreciation? Oh, maybe some more of that there lasagna. They took Miss Kitty back to the Short Branch Cafe. As for Grandpa Jack, he stopped off at the town doctor. Seems he's gotten a little behind in his work. Ouch! Ooh! Oh, uh... Ain't you through yet, Doc? Ouch! It hurts! From now on, I think we should call you Sheriff Cactus Jack. So that's how come you're Cactus Jake, huh, Cactus Jake? <laughs> yeah, that's right, partner. Hmm, hey, there's nothing beats a taste of Western-style barbecued ribs. Cactus schmactus, I'm still the fastest flatware in the West. <laughs> <laughs>